Welcome to this MaxUDA video tutorial on memos. The memo function is a versatile tool that you can use to note comments, questions or interpretations of your data, or to record background informations on documents or code definitions. Basically, there are four types of memos. The first type of memo is the document memo. To create a document memo, simply right-click on a document and choose the option Memo. The memo symbol, which looks a bit like a sticky note, appears next to the document name in the document system. A document memo is always assigned to one specific document. You can, for example, use it to summarize a case or to note background information for the document like its origin or its original context. When you create a new memo, a window opens which you can use to enter any kind of information for that memo. You can name it, change the author's name, assign a symbol as a label, rename the label, choose from different text processing options and of course enter a memo text. The second type of memos are code memos. They are basically created in the same way as document memos, only that you right click on a code now and choose the memo option. Your code memo is then assigned to that particular code. You can use it to specify your code definitions or to sketch out any further steps in your analysis. You may already have noticed that MaxUDA offers you the option to create a code memo automatically when you create a code. If you write a text down here, the memo is immediately assigned to the newly created code. The third type of memos are memos in documents. Anywhere in your data, no matter if it's a text, image, PDF, audio or video file, you can right-click selected segments and create a memo. These memos will then be displayed on the left side of the document browser or, in case of videos, on the timeline. You can use them to note questions, comments and interpretations of your data or to theorize based on your memos as it's commonly done in grounded theory approaches. We've learned that all memos so far are assigned to particular documents or codes and they remain connected to them throughout the coding process. So when you do a retrieval, you will always find the coded segments as well as the memos that belong to them. And you can easily have a look at their description by holding your cursor on them or by double clicking them. The fourth kind of memos are free memos that you can create by clicking Analysis New Free Memo. They differ from the other memos in that they are not assigned to a specific document, code or marked data segment. They are usually used to note thoughts not immediately linked to specific parts of your project. To get an overview of all your memos, choose Analysis Overview of Memos or click this symbol here. You can sort the listed memos according to certain aspects or search memo contents with help of the search function. Memo texts are displayed in the upper part of the overview of memos. If you select document or code memos, they will be highlighted in blue color. If you choose a memo in document, the document browser will automatically jump to the memo's position in the original file, so that you can take its context into consideration. Also, you have the option to export your memos as an Excel spreadsheet or RTF file. Or you can convert your memo to a document via right-clicking on it and choosing the option to do so, which can be useful if you want to code the memo text. Double-clicking a memo in the Overview of Memos will open a memo window as usual. It includes one more feature that I would like to show you. You can link your memo to any code via the window Linked Code. Simply drag and drop your code into the window. Now you're able to retrieve all memos that belong to a particular code by right-clicking on the code and choosing the option Overview of Linked Memos.